Mm-mm. We'll be able to film this video. How about that? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, this part is bad. Awesome. You guys, this is your love low. Yeah. But he has something to say. That's right. I do. This is uh, dedicated to Travis T. Blue, T. Boo, T. Blue, Travis T. Boo, uh, T. Pliskin um, from the Joe Blow Horror Show. He asked, he actually gave me a challenge like to try this. Ago. Yeah, to try this drink. And typically I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even entertain such a drink. Like, like but, this one. But he said, Coke with Oreo, right? Yes. And um, we couldn't find the- The non-zero sugar. The non-zero sugar version, unfortunately, but okay, we're gonna try it. So what do you got to say about this drink? Um, I see a lot of freaking ads for this one. A and lot of ads, okay. I don't think it will be good, but I am being optimistic for Travis. Okay. Right? That's right. Okay. Let's do this. Let's do it. So what do we usually do in these kinds of videos? You open it, you give me a little bit of this. It's like... It still looks like Coke, right? Yeah. Okay. I couldn't find the little cups. That's all right. That's cute. Okay. Wait. No, I'm, I'm just... Still smells like Coke, basically. Okay. Right. Coke with Oreo, I can't believe it. Yeah, it smells like Coke, but with a little bit of like almond almost. Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, Tamanti. Tamanti and Travis. Um, you know, it's really hard for me to assess because I hate zero sugar anything. Yeah. And that artificial sweetener taste. Just ignore that one really affects me, but I can see where somebody might, oh, there's no way I could take another drink. Yeah, yeah, where somebody might appreciate, because it does taste like Coke, and it does taste like Oreos, especially the cream filling. Yeah, it has like, it's in there. A chemically part of the cream. But here's the thing. Guess what? Why not just drink classic Coke in the red can and eat actual Oreos. Which we have, I think, both of those. Yes. Already. Why not do that, Travis? Why? Okay. Right, we didn't have Oreos. Is or... it still recording? Yeah. Oh. All right. So, what are our final thoughts and recommendations? Make sure you edit out that, that where you walked in there. <laughs> Now we're gonna do our thoughts and recommendations. I mean, for this drink. I mean, if it if it had, if I gotta rate the zero sugar version, I just can't. I can't handle diet. I can't handle zero sugar. Sorry, I just there's something about that taste. Mm -hmm. But let's assume it didn't. It wasn't zero sugar. I've never seen one that wasn't zero sugar. Yeah, they, I feel like they just didn't come out with the non-zero sugar kind. Travis, was there a zero sugar? A non-zero sugar version? Fizzy cookie flavored. Because if there is, then I'd still, I, you know, three, Coke's already sweet enough. Yeah. Without putting this Oreos in it. Oh, that's the, the OG right there. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. So what do you rate it? Cause I'm like, I'm like a, an avoid on this, avoid. But if it's non-zero sugar, I'm a three. What are you? Okay, I'm gonna speak for the general public. Okay. My view of the general public. Good. So, um, I for me though, I would say five out of ten. Five out of ten. For this as it is. For this as it is. And then, um, for me, I would say avoid. But for the general public, I would say you would like it. General public is weird. 
And Tra Travis, that doesn't mean you're weird. You're probably awesome. Well, Travis is, is awesome, but yeah. he's also a little weird. <laughs> Stop it. I can't. I can't even. Mm -mm. They'll leave. Alrighty. Alrighty. So, there it is, finally. It's been a long time. Like and subscribe, right? Yep. And also, shout out to Boss Tuna, a.k.a. Cold-Blooded, and Travis Tibu T. Pliskin. Those are cool names. Over and out. Alrighty. Sorry. Yay. Yeah.